Hello, welcome to the Virtual Picture. My name is Ashley. In this video, a uh, follow on from the first video, I'm just going to go through the processing of the picture that I took with my camera. I've already transferred the images from my SD card to my desktop here. Um, what I'm actually using, I'm actually using a Mac here, uh, but I'm also running Windows in parallel with my Mac. So what I'm going to do, I've already set up and I've, uh, the folders themselves. Uh, so I've got a piece of software here just to process that actual picture itself. So I'm just gonna click on process now. I've actually selected a few of the options already. So. What we're doing here, as you can see, if you can see, this, uh, as it says, status is processing. Uh, in my earlier video, I mentioned the exposures that my camera was taking, uh, which was nine per lens, and that was the four lenses on that camera. And as you can see here, um, what this piece of software is doing is actually automatically stitching these pictures together to create a 360 degree picture. And of course, multiple 360 degree pictures create a virtual tour. As we've only got one picture here, there's obviously only this one to obviously process. This takes about, I don't know, three minutes or so to process. So I'll leave this going and we'll come back to the final results in a second. Great, as you can see, the uh, pictures have now been processed. So I'm now just gonna close this piece of software down now. Um, this is the uh, desktop here to my Windows. And I'll just go to the folder itself. Um, what I want to do now is actually transfer this to the desktop of my Mac. Sometimes this works, sometimes it doesn't. Let's hope this has gone through now. Um, so I'm minimize that for a second. And um, let's have a look over here. No, it's not there. As I said, this sometimes does have a problem here as we move this over. No, nope, here we go, I think I found it here. Let's move that to my desktop. There it is, fantastic, it's gone through. This is a problem with using um, uh, Windows and Mac on, on, on the same machine. You do have a, a conflict here. Um, but what we've got now, so I'll minimize that down now, is uh, my folder here. And if I open up this picture now, what you'll see, um, is a panoramic picture. I'll just resize this a little bit so you can actually see it yourself. And that's just a flat image. I did mention to you on the first video that there would be an amount of movement uh, due to the fact that I was um, standing very, very close to the camera itself. And as you can see, actually it's chopped off half my face on there, which isn't fantastic. But what we've got is a panoramic picture itself here. This of course is not, it, it's a 360 degree photo but just in a flat image at the moment. What we need to do now is use another piece of software to display to you how it can look like in an interactive environment. So let me just close this down. Don't need that anymore. And what I've got is another piece of software and it's called Panatour Pro which is quite widely used in the industry to create virtual tours. So what I'm going to do here is we're starting a new tour here. I'm just going to go to my desktop, find the example of that picture, as you can see it there, and port that in here. So I'm going to save a few things here. Um, put that on there, go to the build element, put that over there as well. And what we've got here is HTML5 and Flash. So this will be compatible for all different websites as well. And if I go back to my build it here, so what I'm doing here is actually just creating a 360 degree interactive picture with this. Um, this won't take very long because it's only the one full spherical panorama here. Sorry, beg pardon, pressing the wrong one there. Um, if I now click on play, what it will do is actually open that picture up within the browser. I use Chrome here. And what we'll see is a horribly close picture of a uh, close up of myself. But if I scroll around, you'll actually see the 360 degree photo that I took whilst shooting the first video. As you can see, I can move up and down and around. 
I said the conditions weren't ideal because of the way I was actually shooting that, that picture, but what you've got is a very well stitched together photo. We can zoom in and then zoom out as well. And as you can see, it's opened up in my, in my browser. If I go back to Panatol Pro, and what we do with this is we have multiple pictures that we link together, and then we can create a virtual tour from that. So when we actually go to the actual tour itself, we can have a menu section down here, on the bottom of the screen, up on the top, you can have a floor plan over here or another interactive menu here. We can make it uh, specific to your color and to your brand. And we can link it together and you can have nodes within the picture itself. So we can click on those and that will take you through to the next picture itself. This is how quick and accessible it is now to create virtual tours. And this technology is now available for all of you to use and it shouldn't be put off through the time and the cost uh, that you may have thought that it uh, may be a barrier to overcome. I do hope you found this video interesting. Thank you very much for your time.